On behalf of La Trobe University, I acknowledge the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation as the traditional owners of the land upon which the Melbourne campus is located, and I pay my respects to the elders past and present. I declare this to be a ceremony authorised by La Trobe University at which I shall, with the authority of the academic board, confer degrees and award diplomas. Please be seated. Well, good afternoon. My name is Deborah Radford. I'm the Deputy Chancellor of La Trobe University. Um, and it's my great pleasure to be here today and to welcome you to this very special occasion. Graduation ceremonies are a high point in the university calendar. They are a time to celebrate the achievement of our students. Undertaking a university qualification is a demanding task with a lot of hard work and determination required. So well done to all of you graduating today. And thank you to your family and friends who have helped you along the way. Last year, La Trobe University celebrated 50 years since it admitted its first students. We are very proud that in that short time, La Trobe has established itself as one of the world's leading universities, combining excellence in research with a commitment to providing opportunities for talented students from all socioeconomic backgrounds. We are proud of our strong presence in regional Victoria, as well as welcoming and educating students from all over the world. The motto for the university is Kishe She Trouve, taken from Governor Latrobe's shield. It translates to whoever shall seek find. So whoever seeks shall find, I should get that right. And it is very appropriate that we seek to foster in all of our graduates a sense of curiosity about the world. You are the ones who will solve the challenges it faces, be it providing allied health workers at a local level or around Australia, managing prosperous businesses, in fostering the creative arts community, or helping families in crisis. Graduates, congratulations once again to all of you. I wish you well as you set out on your journey to shape the future of La Trobe and our next 50 years. So it's now my very great pleasure to welcome our special guest and occasional speaker this afternoon, Sam Mutimer. After suffering a broken leg playing rug rugby for England in 2008, Sam became aware of the true power of social media and the role it plays in branding and business as a whole. She made the most out of her time out with injury, posting her injury on YouTube as advertising space for businesses to then bid for in order to get their brand seen online. Unsurprisingly, the video went viral and received 27,000 views in a very short period of time. Watching the volume of inquiries flood through justified the value of great content and solid network connections for brands on social platforms and an idea was formed. Upon her return to Australia, Sam became actively involved in social media marketing via digital marketing agencies and launched her own company, Think Tank Social, one of Australia's very first niche social media agencies where she is now the director of social media. Sam is also on the board of Rugby Victoria, a social media resident for several media avenues, including Channel 7 News, Today Tonight and SEN Radio, and fulfills many speaking engagements around Australia and overseas. So please join me in welcoming Sam Mutimer. Thank you so much. Um, first of all, it's an absolute privilege to be here this afternoon. A massive hat tip to you all for graduating. It really is like a massive achievement. And you know, there's no better time in 2018 to graduate because the future is really, really exciting for you guys. And I reflect back when I graduated back in 2000, and it was nothing near as powerful as what it is right now in terms of where you can head, what you can create, and the support around you. 
So over the next 10 minutes, I'm just going to share a little bit about my story and how I really launched from becoming a PE teacher and playing rugby for my country to running my own social media agency. And lastly, just going to give you a few tips on how you can stand out from the rest to hopefully secure the career of your dreams, um, specifically focusing on LinkedIn, which many people overlook. It's not just about Instagram, guys. So to kick start off, um, I always, I love people, I love education, and at 11 years old, I just knew I wanted to be a PE teacher. So I followed my dream, went to university, graduated, went straight into be a PE teacher, and, and lasted there for four years. Felt there was time to really travel the world, and I used to watch Neighbours. Now, I know you guys are not massively into it here in Australia, but back in the UK, we love it. And it was a draw card for me to come over to Australia to experience the land of opportunity, and absolutely, what a land of opportunity it is. So leaving my PE teaching career, you know, for a year or so to travel the world, I came to Melbourne, fell in love with it, and really, honestly guys, compare this to London, you have so much opportunity. If, if I compare my days back in the UK, everyone is working so hard, you're looking left, you're looking right, everyone's at the same benchmark as you, and you come to Australia and you put your foot down and you really believe and back yourself, you can propel yourself forward so much quicker. So after identifying that, I thought, no brainer, I'm going to stay in, in Melbourne. Um, and I really created a family for myself here. As mentioned, I used to play rugby for England. Um, used to be a number eight, loved it. And actually, it was the injury that led me into opportunity, thank goodness, when I broke my leg playing a game uh, one day. This is back in the UK. I remember I hadn't played for a while, so I wasn't playing for the UK then. I was just playing for a local team. I got the ball in my hand, and I was running towards a try line. And I'm like, I've totally got this. Flying towards a try line and some girl came in and she sliced my leg in two and I fully snapped it. And I looked back then and, and I was like, oh, that's a bit rubbish. I'm, I'm out for three months. I can't train. I can't really do much. But it was a blessing in disguise because back then in 2008, I'd heard of social media. I'd heard of YouTube. I'd heard of Twitter. And, you know, I'm a people person. So I thought where there's people, there's opportunity. So I came up with an idea one, um, one evening. I got my mates over and I wanted them to record me to put out on my YouTube channel. I wanted businesses, four businesses, to bid for advertising space on my broken leg. And the, fo the top four that put the most amount of money towards the bid would get the advertising space there. So I made about three and a half grand back then, which was a nice bit of coin. And um, I thought, okay, so I've done my, my YouTube video. How can I get it out there? So I looked at where the people were and the people were on Twitter back then, understanding now it's not such a big social media channel as what we do have in obviously Instagram LinkedIn and Facebook but I popped it out on Twitter and I put it out to people and there's a story here guys so you might want to take notes I put it out to people that had a big audience that I wanted to get in front of and literally I said to them would you mind sharing my YouTube um, video if you felt that it added value to your community and they did and I honestly woke up the next morning and I had and it's not a massive amount of numbers now but imagine in 2008 when it was a lot quieter on social media I had 27,000 views on my YouTube channel of a really poorly done video, which sometimes I wish I could take down, but it's all part of the story. Um, and I had 6,000 Twitter followers, and I just thought, there's something in this. And I know at times, you guys, um, obviously, you've, you've, you've graduated now, and you've done your courses, and you work so hard, and you've passed, and that's great. But sometimes, you may have this goal that you really want to achieve, um, and, and that's great, but the pathway can change sometimes to help you get there. And for me, I just saw the opportunity in social media and I thought, I'm going to own this space. You know, the, again, where there's people, there's opportunity. So I literally niched myself as a social media expert back then and started to really learn the trade. Where are people? Where are they spending their time? What are they saying? What lights people up? Um, and I created, and it was a big step for me, um, an agency back in 2008 where... I literally didn't pay myself for six to eight months. I worked so hard. I was in the trenches. And success leaves clues. Things don't come easy. People say no to you plenty of times. And they did to me. But if you truly believe in something and you have got, you back yourself, you know who you are, what you stand for, then you just keep going. It's not about the money. It's about the passion. And that really propels you forwards. And I'm so glad that I did that back, back in 2008 where plenty of people said no. They shut the door. Social media is just a fad. That's where people share their food. And I was thinking, there's going to be more to it than that. So I, I backed myself and I hustled for three years. Um, I had two children in that time as well. I nearly lost my agency once because I um, gave birth to my second beautiful child, Max, and had to go and attend to him, of course, being a mum. But I, had to, I came to a crossroads in my life um, where in 2011, I had a phone call from my, my accountant and he said, Sam, you've got to get back into the agency, otherwise you're going to lose it. And I had a four-day-old child 
And look, this is not going to happen to all of you, but the, the, the message is you're going to have crossroads in your life and you have to choose which road you're going to take. And for me, I had my beautiful little boy and I had an agency which I'd worked four years for, for blood, sweat and tears. And I chose to, and don't judge me, or some of you can, <laughs> to get my mum to look after my little boy where I went back in and rebuilt the agency and I had beautiful time with him as he started to grow after that because I thought really at four, four days old he may not remember me. He's probably going to remember me at two. Uh, so the main message here is um, social media for everyone is life online. It's where the people are. And as I said at the beginning, I'm really excited for everyone here in the room that's graduated because you have huge opportunities if you start to leverage it, where you can get attention, you can get people to do something. And so for everyone in the room that's just graduated and for others as well, uh, if they're running their own businesses or um, they want to move up their career level, um, LinkedIn is a massive, massive opportunity for you. Um, just put your hands up if you're on LinkedIn. Nice and high. Oh, yeah? About 60% of the room? It's great. So LinkedIn is where business is done, and LinkedIn is where employers look to gain a better understanding of the potential, um, yeah, the potential employee they're going to bring on board. But also, it's a great way to start to brand yourself. So some of the things that I'd love to share with you really quickly for, um, yeah, the, for the students that have just graduated are you need to know who you are, and what you stand for. What are your values? And then, and this is not right for everyone, but those people that are bold enough, start to brand yourself up onto LinkedIn. Start to connect up with the CEOs and the founders and the marketing managers and the people that you want to get in front of on LinkedIn right now. Start to build those relationships because once you've got their attention, you start liking some of their comments, um, you start sharing some of their posts, then you have a much better step forward than another graduate that hasn't done any of that. So um, I'm going to wrap it up with this. You've got one life, live it, love it. It's going to be a tough ride. There is no easy way to the top, but you're at La Trobe University, one of the best universities out there. And if you just take a solid step forward and where you want to head, back yourself, keep reading, surround yourself with people that are moving in a direction that you want to be around. Don't spend time with negative people. It's a drainer. It's not going to help push you forward. But just believe in yourself and keep taking those steps forward, and ultimately you will win. So thanks for your time, thanks for listening, and congrats to everyone here. <laughs>I call upon Professor Jessica, Jessica van der Lilly, Pro Vice Chancellor, Student Success, on behalf of the Academic Board. Deputy Chancellor, I certify to you and to the University that the candidates who will be presented to you and those listed as in absentia have fulfilled the conditions prescribed for the award of their degrees and diplomas and are therefore entitled to their awards. Will the candidates who have qualified for the various awards please stand? That's you guys. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer the degrees and award the diplomas for which you and those listed in absentia have qualified. Please be seated. I call upon Professor Matthew Nicholson, Associate Head of School, La Trobe Business School, to pre present the graduates. Deputy Chancellor, on behalf of the College of Arts, Social Sciences and Commerce, I present to you the graduates who are receiving the following awards. Diploma in Business, Rowan Ford. <laughs> Catherine Mann Smith. <laughs> Bachelor of Business, Arjana Acharya Sharma. <laughs> Tatiana Akinshina. <laughs> Ibtahal Al Sadi. Osama Reja 
Al Radadi. Tzu Hao Bien. Lachlan Bonello. Michelle Boxtel. Maria Chiara Bozzi. Lauren Buckingham. Brianna Busima. Kira Kane. Crystal Canning. Moon Heng Chia. Shu Ting Chen. Yan Yu Yani Choi. Tim Na Chu. <laughs> Vanessa Cunieto. <laughs> Jade Davis. Fouad El Sadi. <laughs> Yu Feng Fu. <laughs> Anthony Giorgio. Coral Gordon. Alexander Gusteres. Yi Chia Guan. Osgu Halici. <laughs> Bao Tien Long Ho. <laughs> Vanessa Itie. Rowan Jovian. <laughs> Kristen Coronios. <laughs> Dene Kui. Lei Huang Tui Jian. <laughs> Ying Li.
Vanessa Lombardozzi. Hongqia Ma. Don Vihanga Kanchana Marasinga. Lauren McNally. Virginia Morris. Emily Moyle. Keely Marahi. Adesh Narayan. Chan Min Kwan Nguyen. Jessica Nugent. Pavlos Economidis. Abdi Omer. May Zin U. Jack Peacock. Shue Tsan Ren. Anthony Sakaslidis. Tahana Semi. Devanch Nitenbai Shah. Anmol Lal Shrestha. Romit Shrestha. Shren Shren Su. T. Tui Tian Chan. T. Tu Hien Van. Tsong Tsong Wan. Rong Van Su Hao Wen Samuel Williams. Chen Shu Li Yi Shu
Yang Chun. The Bachelor of Business Event Management, Rua Al Kahili. Jaden Bonello. Aslahan Chingus. Michael Lee. Carleen Malgiri. <laughs> Fei A. Wang. The Bachelor of Business, Event Management, Marketing. Chelsea Boyd. Nancy Bui. Cassandra Dalla Costa. Christian Dimick. Natalie Gilby. Claudia Layton. Julia Negro. Katia Piedemonte. Kyra Seaton. Hakim Zaidan. Bachelor of Business, Human Resource Management. Rifka Azagaf. Gemma Button. Peter Georgios. Chin Tien Ma. Jack March. Nicholas Marchione. Natalie Nielsen. James Neshi. Michael Samuel Apare Ado. Yen Chi Sun. Shu Cho Chao. The Bachelor of Business Leadership 
and Management, Osama Habibu Rahman. <laughs> the Bachelor of Business Marketing, Daniel Acevedo Avendano. Sarah Bukujo Moga. <laughs> Mackenzie Biffin. <laughs> Sung Hee Cho. Yu Tung Chao. Tan Tung Tuan. Megan Flynn. Roy Howe. <laughs> Natalie Harkins. <laughs> Min Roy He. Harrison Heath. <laughs> Kevin Edward Seraduan Hatajulu. <laughs> Chin Ho Lai. Chen Lei. Sarah McClay. Daryl Sing Min Nyo. Yani Poladuru <laughs> Jessica Price Woo! Patrick Scott Yu Chien Shu Brian Wajaya Yiwun Chung Bachelor of Business Sport Management, Caitlin Andreoli. Michael Cusson. Storm Dickinson. Jessica Dos Santos. Peter Michael.
Riley Muir. James Pantas. Brody Watson. David Ilias. Bachelor of Business, Tourism and Hospitality, Sarah Jane Ballard. <laughs> Guo Chen. <laughs> Chun Ming Cheng. Fumi Furukawa. <laughs> Jessica Giovaniello. <laughs> Talia Howden. Nguyen Yen Ni Huin. Christine Abigail Javier. Nicole Camburus. Yuki Kokofuda. <laughs> Manieza Martinez. <laughs> Ti An Twit Nguyen. Han Chiao Chiu. <laughs> Dakshina Sachintaka Ranasinga. <laughs> Lillian Roberts. Bradley Robinson. <laughs> Megan Roderick. <laughs> Bharat Satyavelu. Moni Liak Sokom. <laughs> Mei Han Chan. <laughs> T Kim Fung Chan. T. Kim Quin Chan. <laughs> Hui Kwok Viet Vo. <laughs> ya Tin Wen.
Bachelor of Business, Tourism Management and Marketing. Edna Papik. <clears throat> the Bachelor of International Business, Saeed Abdel Fattah. Robert Korbaleski. Mitchell Fisher. Yinke, who is absent. Jin Chuing Li. Lantau Liu. <clears throat> Olivia Ogrisetti. <clears throat> Aina Shah. Boon Hong Sok. <clears throat> Wei Ju Wu. <clears throat> Pyong Yao. Graduate Certificate in Management, Public Sector, James Fraser. <clears throat> Master of Business Administration, Abu Saad Ahmad. <clears throat> Craig Allen. Samuel Barnett. Matthew Duck. Tanya Finnan. Carl Hill. Daniel Irwin. Alison McKenzie. Nguyen Tan Nam. Tuan Viet Nguyen. <clears throat> Nguyen Feng An. <clears throat> Milan Pinta. Rachel Rees. Janelle Rhodes. Justin Rowe. Subashini Sharma. Bushpenda Yadav.
Master of Business Administration Advanced, Jose Augusto Rojas Torres. Abhinav Srivastava. Master of Business Analytics, Bharat Jana Thanan. Dristi Atulbai Kenilia. Tony Curian. <laughs> Master of Business Information Management and Systems, Tan Tu Dao. <laughs> Sohail Rafuri. Mung Jia Hu. <laughs> Shilpa Jain. <laughs> Brian Robert Kajar. Suen Tao V. Mai. <laughs> Wania Malik. <laughs> Rahil Narendra Kumar Mehta. T. Min Trang Nguyen. Sai Amathia Pedabudi. Satak Rati. Shravan Ravishanka. <laughs> Gaurav Rawal. <clears throat> Vipin Sharma. <laughs> Anuj Siwas. Qinghua Wang. <laughs> Master of Engineering Management, A. Rafi Ahmed. <laughs> Rochelle Naomi Amana. Asif Anwar. <laughs> Shalok Berry. <laughs> Arati Dahia. <laughs> Insia Garg. Iti Gupta. <laughs> Sai Charan Reddy Guram. <laughs> Muhammad Miktad Hussein. <laughs> Ali.
Abdullah Al Mahmoud. Rupinda Kaur. Tamandeep Singh Simbi. Udaya Sima Tota Ven Katachalapati. Chandan Preet Walia. Master of International Business, Hong Yi Tsai. Aspen Pascal Dukunka. Aditya Kalpesh Doshi. Yu Gao. Sehaj Koshla. Guo Yu Lu. My Van Kwa Fan. Ishit Takur. Master of Management, Ying Jun Cheng. <laughs> Chloe Fu. <laughs> Vijaya Rajan Jayakanan. Josh Ngome Karuga. Hung T. Kui Le. Rangaraju Mekala. Ching Wan. <laughs> Master of Management, Entrepreneurship and Innovation, Luz Enid Garcia Osa. <laughs> Ajay Yogalingam. Master of Management, Human Resource Management, Abdulumjid Ibrahim Al Al Turki, <laughs> Purnima Chatterjee, <laughs> Layla Ismail Dekaidek. Joel Dorman. Ansa Kamal. Ya Li. Rose Nguyen.
Ti Tien Chung Fan. Brendan White. Master of Management, Project Management, Manikandan Anandan. Arnold Dominic Birchi. Vinkal Chaudhry. Yeah. Anantha Krishna Kasavaraju. <laughs> ah Tsong Li. Satyam Pandi. Brinda Sanjay Patel. Kandap Tarankuma Shukla. Staffy Simon. <laughs> Sandeep Talakunchi. <laughs> Chuang Tai. Natanai Wechkul Tamrong. Yur Yin. Master of Management, Sport Management, Harleen Kaur. Satak Mishra. Akshay Kumar Hitashpai Trivedi. Master of Marketing, T. Yen Lei. Master of Marketing Management, Karan Bajaj. <laughs> Rohan Cyril Boadita. <laughs> Deepak Gopalakrishna. Trina D'Souza. <laughs> Maria Paulina Gil Restrepo. <laughs> Aidit Chetan Kona. Shivali Ori. Sunny Satashpai Palma. Megha Girish Kumar Patel.
Ram Apana Narayan. Catalina Restrepo Arias. Bushan Satpute. Suman Rajendra Vind. And now to the high degrees by research. Doctoral research solves the most vexing problems of our time, and in doing so, extends the frontiers of knowledge, contributing to our understanding of the world and the role of humanity within it. Each of our doctoral graduates here today has produced a doctoral thesis of up to 80,000 words, which may have also included publications or a creative work. This body of work is then examined by international scholars as part of a rigorous examination process in order to assess the methodological soundness, the accuracy of the findings, their originality and significance. Our doctoral graduates have therefore made an internationally recognised, substantial and unique contribution to their discipline. Congratulations to you from all of us here at La Trobe as you celebrate this significant milestone and we wish you every success for the future. George Rakovidis, whose thesis whose thesis is entitled Queer Theory and the Gay Man's Self in Business, Challenging the Heteronormative and Asexual Assumption in Workplace Leadership Style Theories. Dr. Rakovitis explored how the sexuality of gay male workplace leaders intersects with their leadership styles. He proposes leadership style is constructed and revised through gay men's sexuality and queer theory is effective in leadership styles research. His research problematizes the heteronormative and asexual assumption underlying leadership style theories, particularly authentic leadership. I present to you Dr. Rakovides. <laughs> Bara Assam Yusuf Misconi. whose thesis is entitled Prediction Intervals Using Computational Intelligence Techniques. Dr. Misconi studied and explored prediction interval estimation, which is commonly used for quantifying the uncertainty and precision related to point predictions. She proposed a novel algorithm to construct prediction interval using computational intelligence techniques and the findings are quite convincing in terms of both their effectiveness and efficiency. I present to you Dr. Misconi. <laughs> Deputy Chancellor, that concludes the presentation of the graduates. You have been an incredibly well-behaved audience today. Thank you all so much. And a special thank you to all the small people in the room who have been perfectly patient this afternoon. Now, I have a sneaking suspicion that it's not just Chloe and Sandeep's fan club over here that would like to give a little whoop and holler and a cheer for our graduates. So can you please all join with me again for celebrating the success of our graduates here? And please don't be afraid to shout out loud.
That's more like it. Graduation's a celebration. It's so great. Thank you. So on behalf of all present here today, I would like to thank Sam Mutima for giving us such an inspiring speech. Sam has shown us that misfortune and opportunity are often two sides of the same coin. And it is those moments in life when our plans are changed for us that have the power to become defining points in our lives, provided that we harness our courage and creativity. Sam, I loved it when you said success leaves clues. That really resonated um, deeply with me. And thank you so much for sharing your passion, your enthusiasm, and some really wise advice for everybody here in the audience, myself included. I'm going to go home and fix my social media profile now. <laughs> the amazing thing about learning is that it's a lifelong endeavour, and I'm always inspired to hear stories of people backing themselves and following their passions in unexpected directions. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together again to thank Sam. I would also like to acknowledge the staff here today who have helped our graduates along the way to success. I'm sure you would agree that we have some of the most committed and caring staff around. And I know that our graduates have left a deep mark on each and every one of the staff that are here today. But graduates, today is your day. We are so incredibly proud of each and every one of you. We know how hard you have worked to get to this point. Everyone who studies has moments when the ideas just don't make sense, when the words don't flow, or that moment when the computer crashes just before you hit save. Study takes perseverance when things get tough. It takes patience when group work isn't going as well as you first expected. And it takes titanic motivation to get to class on cold and windy Melbourne mornings. It's not easy to complete a degree at university, but you have done it, and today is truly your time to celebrate. To be here has taken raw intelligence, but also a lot of hard work, dedication, a love of knowledge, and of course, support from your friends and families. The fantastic thing is that regardless of where your journey after university takes you, you will carry with you the skills and capabilities you developed during your time here with us at La Trobe. And to all of the supporters in the room, thank you very, very much. Today we hand back your loved ones officially smarter than they were when they got up this morning. So graduates, I'd like you to do one more thing today. Now this might get a little bit messy, so I need you to concentrate. You all doffed your hat to the Chancellor as you accepted your degree. I'd like you to stand, look around for your supporters, feel free to wave so that they can see you and you can find them, and doff your hat to them and say thank you. Have a go. Can you find them? They're out there, they're waving, they've got the cameras out. <laughs> Wonderful, okay, okay. Let's sit back down and we'll finish this thing. You can get out and have your party. I love that part, look at you. So exciting. Now graduations reach back through the history of universities. The gowns and the fantastic hats and ceremonious, ceremonial aspects of these occasions reflect centuries of, trans, of tradition. But graduations are not just about looking back on the past. In the United States, these ceremonies are called commencements, reflecting the fact that they mark the beginning of your professional life. You are now a member of a network of more than 200,000 La Trobe graduates living in more than 100 countries around the world. La Trobe will always be your university and you ho we hope you will stay in touch and take pride in our achievements as we will take pride in yours. And we, do, and we hope that your families 
and supporters will feel that they are also a part of the Latrobe family because they have been as much a part of your education as we were. Graduates, as I said, today is a time to celebrate your success. We have now concluded the formal part of this afternoon's ceremony so we can let the party begin. You are all invited to join the Deputy Chancellor and other members of the universities for refreshment in the Eagle Bar. And in recognition of your new status within the university community, our graduates are also invited to join the academic procession as it leaves the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand? <laughs> 